Let's try to understand how to find least common multiple. So in these set of videos, I'll explain three different ways of finding least common multiple. So this is the one which, in which we'll have list of multiples and then we'll find common multiples and the lowest amongst the common will give us the least common multiple, right? So as an example, let's take find least common multiple of 6 and 8. So when we are talking about common multiples, it is always between two or more numbers, right? Now we'll adopt the method which we call listing multiples. So this method is by listing multiples. So list multiples. So the method is first list all the multiples which you can, right? So it could be a long list at times. And then we'll find common among these multiples. So we then we'll find common multiples. So if there are two or more numbers, let's say there are three numbers, then you have to list multiples for all the three numbers. Then find common multiples, right? And the lowest in that list will give you the least common multiple, right? So as the name suggests, it is the process is exactly what the name suggests, right? Least common multiples. So list all the multiples which you can and then find the common multiples and the lowest one will be the least common multiple. So we are given here two numbers, 6 and 8. So the numbers are 6 and 8. And now let's figure out what are their multiples. So multiples of 6 are like 6 times 1, 6 times 2. So these are the multiples of 6. So they are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54. Let's go up to 10, okay? So let's list our multiples up to times 10. And then we will figure out the rest. So 8 times 1 is 8, times 2 is 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, and 80, right? So we got a list of multiples. So that is our first step. That is list multiples. Now from this list, let's figure out which are the common ones. So now have a look. C for common multiples. So you can see 24 and 24 is common, right? And then as you go down the list, you find 48 and 48 is also common. So the common multiples, so we have found the common multiples. The common multiples are 48 and 48. Now, which one is the least of this? So least is 24. So that is the lowest. So we have least common multiple, which I can write as LCM in short. And this is another way of writing. LCM of 6 and 8, we say 6 comma 8 equals to 24. So in short, you can write like this. So our answer is, in this case, our answer is that the LCM least common multiple of 6 and 8 is equal to 24. Correct? So that's an easy, neat way of doing it. But it can at times take a lot of time, right? If there are, you know, numbers where the least common multiple is very high, in that case, imagine how long this list is going to be. So that is one disadvantage. But it is a simple and straightforward method, right? And it can always be applied, whether there are two numbers or three numbers, correct? So as an exercise, what we will do is, we'll now take up three numbers. For example, let's take numbers like 4, 6, and 10, and check for ourselves what are the common multiples and then which one is the least common multiple, right? Now try doing this on your own. Now when you make this list, it will go very long, right? And then you will find, well, it is really time consuming. So in problems where the list may go very long, it may take a lot of time, we adopt different methods. 
So the other methods which we'll discuss about will are called like prime factorization. So by the process of prime factorization, we'll find least common multiple. And then we'll also talk about division ladder. So these are the two methods which we'll discuss in the following videos. Right? Your knowledge of finding least common multiple is very useful and you can apply it in so many situations. Let me give you one example. Let's say you want to eat hot dogs. Then you'll notice that in grocery stores they come in packets and sometimes you find six hot dogs per pack but you find eight hot dog buns per pack. Now if you buy one of each then you're always left with two hot dog buns. What will you do with those? So the idea is to get a number of packs so that they even out. So what should be the minimum number of hot dogs and what should be the minimum number of hot dog buns packets which you should buy. I think you get from here right the least common multiple is 24. So when it multiplies to 24 you get the right numbers correct. So if there are six hot dogs per pack you should get four of those packets and if there are eight hot dog buns per pack you should get three of those packets then you have 24 of each and they even out. Do you see that? So it finds huge application. Thank you.